Good evening, boys and girls. Today, we are going to show you how to use the sound files as commands of Streamlabs chatbot version 1.0.2.49. This does work with a lot of previous versions, but keep your chatbot up to date. If this video doesn't work with, you know, future versions, that's not my problem. So, first, you have to make sure your bot is connected to your channel. Go down here to your connections and make sure your Twitch bot, mine is Tiny Gasm bot, is connected to your channel, which that's my channel. Very easy. We will not be showing you how to do that. Second, we go to sound files. Sound files over here. Perfect. See? Now, you are going to see a bunch of stuff here and it might be confuzzling, but it's not. What we're going to do is be adding a sound file the sound file we're going to use one right from the desktop in my sounds folder which you have to already have the sound effects we will have how about we have the mlg air horn because that's so much fun it's just four random ones i grabbed so look see this is the whole sound file pathway that just points to right here oh we're gonna put this as mlg so when and we're gonna automatically generate the command so you can set a cost for this. You can set the cooldown. You could set, uh, which can be either a global cooldown or also per user, which means like uh, if five people are in your channel, they can't spam it if you put a global cooldown in there. But if five people are in your channel and there's no global cooldown, you could do it per person instead if you want five people to use the MLG horns. You can add a response, which this will just make the bot uh, put out some sort of text or function or something, something, something. Doesn't really matter. Anyways, you can adjust the volume, so we're going to preview it here. That sounds more than loud enough. Perfect. You submit it, and that's it. I have a ton of them. We won't really be looking at all of them. So, let's go and check it out. Exclamation point MLG. That's literally it. Your bot will poop out the command. It sounds great, fantastic, wonderful. Now, to do random ones. So, we're going to go back to the sound files. We are going to be adding... Uh, what do we want to add? We'll call it... Random... Uh, 2. Because I think I already have a random for my other one. So we're just calling it Random 2 for now. What you're going to do is... Go back to the folder you keep every wait, get out of there uh go back to your desktop and go to the folder that you keep everything in your sounds folder and copy just that path that's it so you just copy the path if you don't want to do it that way you can put in something like whoa, whoa, whoa and delete that so now you have just the straight path to the folder so any of the sound randoms you want to have, you're going to put them in folders. So what this does is uh, we'll randomly pick any sound file that is in this folder. And it'll go through all four that are in there. But that's it. It's the same thing. You submit it, and that is random too. Or go to random two. Boom! Headshot! That's it. Very simple. I hope you guys <laughs> can figure out the whole thing. Enjoy!